everybody welcome to this video my name is Lupo and this video series is about my journey to build a solar system for the mountain hut and in this video I want to show you my design of my all-in-one box or solution for my mountain hut so the heart of everything that's why it's red by the way is this box and I want to put everything into this box of course not the panel itself but everything else should be covered so I bought this box for around 30 euros. Um, it's a sheet metal. Of course, you can also buy aluminum, but it's just a bit more expensive. That's why I decided to go for this one. And it should be sufficient, I think, for, for my purpose. As you can see inside, I put some wooden boards in there that I cut. so that I can also screw something to the board. It's just easier to work with that and also on the floor that I can just screw in fuses or breakers or something like that. So the idea is to have a case here for the battery. I will of course fix that. Um, I can also compress it a bit if I want to for the BMS, I want to, to mount this BMS on this side outside so that it's not directly connected because this one can heat up as well. And then I can connect my, my shunt to the, to the BMS. For the positive lead, I want to protect um, this battery with a fuse. I got a 125 fuse here. I hope you can see that. And I want to add this to the positive lead here. I also got a, a fuse holder for that. But first of all, it's if I put it somewhere here, I need another wire to so another connection to the fuse. And it's also not as close as possible to the, to the terminal, to the battery itself. So I thought about putting the fuse directly on the terminal because it fits quite well. Um, I mean this thing can get hot and it's close to the battery It's on the board if you can see that so I hope that is fine It's also the last fuse in my chain So it's just if all the other breakers and fuses if they fail or something uh, happens really close to the battery then this fuse protects everything from a short So that should be fine. I can directly connect the positive wire here Maybe also have a heat shrink around it to cover everything that it's safe. For the incoming power, I of course need a charge controller. I want to mount it here so that I can save a bit of, of space. And I have a battery connection, a connection to the PV and my load. So I will put that here and then connect the PV to this charge controller. It is always a good idea to protect the circuit coming from the solar panel. So I will add this DC breaker um, to this circuit. So the incoming wire from the solar panel will go into this breaker and then to the charge controller so that I can also switch it off. It's quite convenient to, to have such a breaker here. I will put it on one of those rails, thin rail. So I can also add other breakers here. Good. Regarding the load, I have two types of loads. One load I directly connect to the charge controller. It can handle up to 15 amps. So this will be my lower load type like lamps, lights, maybe the pump. So everything that, that doesn't pull that much. And I have another type of load like the inverter which really pulls a lot. And I want to directly connect that to the battery course not directly directly so this is a breaker and a fuse and it protects my heavy load it's a 100 amp breaker um, the reason why I don't use such a breaker is just because I bought this one already uh, maybe I will replace that with a proper one later 100 amp breaker and this one can directly go to the inverter this one this is a really cheap inverter you can see also my other video where I tested this inverter, I want to replace this one as well because it's not that good, but it 
fit somewhere here next to the battery. Um, so as you can see here, it fits quite well here on, on, on this side. I can also, when I replace it with a bigger one, um, that should be fine and should also fit here on this side. So this one is for the inverter. I also want to have a proper switch for this inverter. So I got one of these heavy load switches, a 100 amp switch, and I already uh, drilled a hole on this side. where I can put my switch so that I have this switch on the outside. I can turn on and off my inverter. Okay, then talking about my load. So the normal load. I will use those um, fuse boxes. I can open that on this side, hopefully. I will put them somewhere here, I guess. And my plan is to have two circuits, a 12 volt and a 24 volt circuit. So I also have a second one that I have one for 12 volt and one for 24 volts. And of course I need also a, a step up inverter for that. I will put that on this side somewhere here. Then I can directly connect those two fuse boxes somehow here and then connect my 24 volt load and 12 volt load. I will also use another breaker um, which I can add to my, my rail here and this is a 32 amps breaker and it's mainly to connect the battery to my charge controller because it's always good to have a breaker in between if something happens or if you want to um, cut off the battery from the charge controller um, to do some maintenance or whatever, you can switch it off here and it protects also the charge controller from the battery. Okay, that's the main interior design without the wires, of course, and I have to arrange everything um, so that I can fit the wires in between. You can already see that it's a lot of stuff, um, but I will mount that also a bit higher, for example, then I have more space here, as you can see. Same with the step up converter and that's also nice to have this this wooden board because then you can move it around and just screw it uh, fix it with some screws when you're done and when you know exactly how to position everything and where it's located maybe you have seen already those nice holes And now I will paint um, a bit of varnish on the edges, the sharp edges, to prevent rust so that everything is sealed again. I got a couple of uh, different switches. Those have an um, LED integrated, so the LED turns on when the switch is on. And also those switches, unfortunately they are 230 volt switches up to 15 amps. Those are DC 20 amp switches. Um, but I think for the lower loads, those are also fine that I can use them. And I can just put them through the holes here and then I have the switches for the users because I don't want users to open the box so that they don't have to open the box because on the mountain hut not everybody is an expert in that of course so that you can just use the switches from outside and you don't have to open the box. As you can see those holes are not perfect so if you don't want to have a box with personality I would call it then you can use maybe a center point or something like that. The back is planned for the shunt so that I have a display here where I can see the amps and the, the usage. So that's that's for that. 
let's go to the to the side and for the connection to the outer world i want to use those sockets um the, the brand is called nitric and it's the speak on system so it's made for speakers in the professional environment so professional audio systems if you have been to an event for example i'm pretty sure those things were used for um, for audio equipment and they are super nice because um, if you have the socket here you plug it in turn and then it's locked so this is is fixed nothing moves as you can see and to release it again you have to pull to pull this turn it again and then you can release it so this is super nice because it's rated up to 30 amps if i can recall correctly um, low resistance and it's super nice because nothing moves when you connect it and it's easy to disconnect everything so the whole box to move it around or to maintain the box so i want to use that for my load as you can see here is also um, a hole for such a connector because I also want to use it for my uh, solar panel. At the beginning I thought to use MC4 connectors here as well, but um, I think as I just have 5 amps, I think this is completely fine and it's just more convenient to have this socket rather than having MC4 connectors hanging around here. So this was my quick presentation of the design of my all-in-one solution that I want to use on the mountain hut. I'm super curious how you usually build your boxes or all-in-one solutions. If you have any recommendations, suggestions or improvements for my box, please write it down in the comments. And also consider to give me a thumbs up or subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.